In the song I'm working on, I want to have a kind of rhythmic pulse at the very beginning. What, what would be great if I could like hold a chord and then push on the different notes and kind of bring out all the different notes individually. And to do that, I'm really going to have to have press respond differently for each one of the notes, right? And I've created a monophonic kind of lead type of sound with operator, but, I, but it's monophonic and we need to make it polyphonic. And I'm going to use this technique where we take the same exact patch and put it on multiple tracks and have them respond to different MIDI channels so that we get individual pitch bend and uh, pressure on each one of, of the tracks. It's a great method. It's also easy to edit later because it's just like editing any other track. You don't have to learn kind of anything new for this. The first thing I want to do in the Rolly dashboard here is set a range of channels. And, I, you know, I, I know I have 10 fingers, but I really only need four note chords. I don't need all of those all the time. So I'm going to put this into multi-mode and set the channel range of one to four. So we'll have up to four notes of polyphony, an expressive polyphony. Let's go over to Ableton now. And I'm going to duplicate this track three more times. But before I do that, there's one aspect of this that I think is kind of important. I have a distortion device and a ping pong delay on this track. And it really would be better if that was on all the voices together. When you, when you hear like a guitar performance, particularly when they have a distortion pedal, if they play two notes, it really hits that distortion pedal really hard, right? And the interrelation, it's called intermodulation distortion between those two notes, makes that distortion really ring out. If I had a separate distortion pedal per string, we wouldn't have that really cool experience. And so what I'd really want is to have all of these tracks I'm about to make in a group and put my processing on the group. And this way you'll find that distortion will be much more responsive to having more than one notes in the intervals that you're going to perform. So I'm going to group this track. Even though it's one track, I'll still group it. Right click on the track title bar and choose group tracks and I'll move my processing to the group. Shift click on both and drag and drop them to the group. So it'll sound the same now. But when I start adding more, it's going to respond really nicely to distortion. I'm going to now duplicate this track multiple times. Command D is a great key command. You use it all the time in Ableton Live to duplicate. So now we have four tracks. I'm going to configure each one of these tracks to respond only to a single channel. And they're going to be ascending. So this first track will respond to channel one. And we'll ascend from there. Two, three, and four and then I'll record enable each one of these tracks. Let's hear how this sounds when I play a chord. It's nice. I could even have the voices kind of cross. And you hear how the distortion kind of picks up when they get close, all that kind of out of tune really jumps out. Now, when recording, you're going to see it record into multiple tracks. Let's see what that looks like. 